all right students so now in this video we are going to discuss the line of symmetry of the different different shapes okay so first of all you must be knowing the different properties of all the shapes that how many sides they are having how many angles are there and uh, how many lines of symmetry are there we will discuss that and whether they are regular or irregular so let me explain what is a regular shape uh, where the number of sides and all the sides length of all the sides and the measure of all the angles is same okay so that will be called a regular shape otherwise it will be irregular so what is a three-sided regular figure it is an equilateral triangle it is having three sides and all three sides are same and all three angles are also the same what is regular four-sided figure it is a square all four sides are same and all four angles are right angles okay so to find out the line of symmetry we must discuss we must have in our mind that what are the properties of these shapes okay so we will discuss triangles quadrilaterals different polygons regular shapes and what are so these are what these are all the four sided figures and these are all the quadrilaterals although these are all different types of quadrilateral so we will discuss one by one so just check students what shape is this all four sides are same and all four are right angles so this is what this is a square so how many lines of symmetry does it have so let's draw one diagonal then the other diagonal vertical and horizontal so these are what these are all the lines of symmetry of the square means when you fold the square about any of these lines you will the both part will coincide each other so students you can um, check it by the paper folding also you can cut a square and you can draw the line you can draw any diagonal and then fold it along the diagonal the both parts will coincide each other right so what we have done square has four equal sides four equal angles each angle is right angle and a square is having four lines of symmetry and it is a regular shape so a regular quadrilateral is a square and it has four lines of symmetry now just check which shape is this no doubt all of you know that this is a rectangle so let's draw the lines of symmetry of this rectangle here one is vertical and the other is horizontal so a rectangle will be having only two lines of symmetry okay here diagonal is not the line of symmetry because when you fold it along the diagonal they will not coincide each other okay so what we have discussed two pairs of equal sides both lengths are same both breadths are same four equal angles all angles are right angles and there are two lines of symmetry one is vertical one is horizontal and it is an irregular figure right because all sides are not equal now just check students what shape is this this is a parallelogram what is a parallelogram we have already discussed it in the previous chapters when the both pair of opposite sides are parallel to each other so here the both pair of opposite sides are parallel to each other so how many lines of symmetry are there there is no line of symmetry you can check because if you will draw the slanting lines of symmetry parallel to its sides they will not fold it together because the angles are not same here you can check if you will draw a line of symmetry like this this angle and this angle this is an obtuse angle and this is an acute angle so when you will fold it along this line this angle will not match with this angle okay so next let's discuss so what we have discussed parallelogram having two pair of equal sides and then opposite sides are parallel and it is having no line of symmetry and it is an irregular shape now what is this this is a parallelogram in which all sides are equal here so this is a rhombus okay so just check the lines of symmetry of a rhombus 
one diagonal and the other diagonal again here the base angles this angle and this angle are not same that's why we can draw the line of symmetry like this this is not the line of symmetry because when you fold it along this they will not uh, coincide with each other okay so this is not the line of symmetry right so a rhombus got two lines of symmetry what is a rhombus four equal sides it's a parallelogram both pair of opposite sides are parallel and it has two lines of symmetry and it is obviously an irregular shape now just check both pair of side uh, all pair of sides are equal all sides are equal but the angles are not equal now what is this this is a trapezoid or a trapezium here one pair of opposite sides are parallel and the other is non-parallel so can you find any line of symmetry here no because here the non-parallel sides are also not the same now here just check can we draw a line of symmetry here yes in the middle because the non-parallel sides this one and this one these two sides are equal and you can observe that this angle and this angles are same so this student this type of trapezium is called isosceles trapezium because the two sides this one and this one these two are equal so in simple trapezium there is no line of symmetry but in an isosceles trapezium there is one line of symmetry okay so just check here the base angles these two are same so trapezium unequal sides one pair of opposite sides are parallel and it doesn't have any line of symmetry regular figure but yes if the inner trapezium also if the it is a isosceles trapezium if the non parallel sides are equal and the base angles are equal then definitely it will be having the one line of symmetry now students let's check what shape is this this is a kite because the two adjacent sides here this side is equal to this one and this side is equal to this one right so just draw the lines of symmetry here there is one line of symmetry only for a kite okay here like this we have drawn there is only one line of symmetry of a kite so two pairs of equal sides but opposite sides are not same one line of symmetry and this is an irregular shape now what about triangles let's discuss now what type of triangle is this this is an equilateral triangle in which all three sides are same and all three angles are also the same so just check the lines of symmetry here from how to draw from the vertex you have to join the midpoint of the opposite side so this will be the line of symmetry from here also from this vertex here you have to take the midpoint of the opposite side and then we have to join okay here also this is the vertex and here you will take the midpoint of the opposite side and join so this is the these are the three lines of symmetry of a equilateral triangle right so one two and three how many lines of symmetry does it have three so equilateral triangle will be having three equal angles three equal sides each angle is of 60 degree all of you know and it will be having three lines of symmetry now just check this here you can observe that these two sides are same but this base side is different so here we can draw a line of symmetry like this only because these two sides are same so from this you have to take midpoint of the opposite side this is an isosceles triangle where two sides are same and yes from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side this is the this was the line of symmetry so isosceles triangle what is isosceles triangle which is having two equal sides and the base angles are equal and it will be having one line of symmetry now just check what type of triangle is this this is a scalene triangle so does it have any line of symmetry 
known because all sides are different and all angles are also different so no equal angles no equal sides now here just check what type of triangle is this this is a right angle triangle so it can be a scalene triangle it can be an isosceles triangle and it can be isosceles so if it is an isosceles triangle if it is a scalene triangle then we can't draw any line of symmetry but if it is an isosceles triangle means this side and this side must be same so from the vertex like we have drawn the line of symmetry for an isosceles triangle we will take the midpoint of the opposite side and then we will draw it like this so this will be the line of symmetry for right angled isosceles triangle okay so this was all about the right angled triangles so triangle what are the triangles having three sides okay so we have discussed now almost all the shapes and the line of symmetry of all so please do revise the video and clarify the topic thank you and have a nice day